But you guys, this is Chase Peter again today. Sorry if I look up over that way every once in a while, because I'm watching a hockey game, Cat Sam. And there's heaters on, so it's an auto. This is pretty one of the learn stuff. But super bags. One of my ones, I was gonna shoot my dad's. And then we got the rest of manufacturing stuff, the smaller things back. This you can use for, I don't know, if you really don't feel like carrying too much stuff if you don't. Get this little guy, it's pretty small. You get your pack in the back here, which is pretty big. You put it, if you need to carry extra slugs. And you got this mini pack here, which you could put, I don't know, this mini pack here. That, I would put, if I would put any bullets, I would put bullets in the side mini, mini pocket. That back here, I'd put like, maybe mask or something, hat, vest, orange vest. Then you have this little bag, just right here, you can put drinks, whatever in. And sorry again for looking over there. Same thing right here, just fit in drinks. And same thing, I'd put bullets in there. And let's see. So I will do this one. This one's mine, which doesn't even fit me, I don't know. I still have a little bit of room to grow into it. But, you know, use it to, if you're just going like, brush hunting. You don't want to carry a big bag if you're doing like deer drives. And we got this guy right here. Another little fanny pack. It's way, it's little thing you strap around you. Way bigger. This has this little strap. That this big, big one. It's my dad's. You got these two on the side, these two pockets. And you got these two pockets, and you got this big old section right here. This thing is actually super big. Pretty big. Well, this is the one, this is the kind of you have the straps put up on you so that it's not soft enough if you don't like it when it's not soft. I'm gonna start off with this big, big book bag. See, this book bag is pretty big. Actually, awfully big. You could use this, you could use it, how? You could use this book bag for like meal, like, elk hunting, whatever. You got a slide pouch right here. I guess you could slide your gun into it. Then you get your drink pouch. Whatever you want to put in there. Then you have your, uh, you the same thing on this side. Just the thing that slides down. So I guess you could put your gun in this pocket. My dad, this isn't the book that my dad uses. He used to. Then you got the, you get your little pocket up here. Put binoculars, whatever. And then you got your big main This thing you can pack it a baby in it, exactly. Because it has a drinking pouch. It has like a thermos that will go in it. It has a desk. There's a drinking pouch in it. You have this little pouch. That's just wrappers. And then that. Then we can, then you can shut that. 
now you got still more stuff, which my guy has a little orange thing on the back of his bag. It's a pretty good idea. In the last pocket, you can hold your... See, it gives you kind of a thing. So you can put your knives and everything in this one. Again, pretty big book bag. Doesn't seem that big on camera, but it's humongous. Then, of course, we got mine. so it doesn't fall out. Mm -hmm. You notice my gander mountain boot bag. Book bag. Now, this is what I carry. This is my carrier for whenever I go hunting on my hunting trips and stuff. I'll go through that bag in another video because it would take way too long. I, mean, I don't know. How. I am freezing. It's it's so cold in my basement. Guys, but it's coming to the winter time. Can't wait to the winter. It is the winter, basically. It's been going on. It's been pretty cold outside for the last couple of weeks. This heater, I have a heater sitting in front of me, so I'm not that cold. It's going right in my eyeball, so I'm at that height where I'm too short to go above it. So it just blows into me. But yeah, I'm you know, just staying back this way. But yeah, that's coming that winter time-ish. That's it. Right there is a deer. It's a nine-point buck. Yeah, and that's my dad. Not that one. That one right. Not that one right there. Not the one in the back. Not that one. That one. That one. No, off, off. I'm still getting you to you see it. Don't ask me why I've been doing it for two years. Two, three, around three years. I'm making a YouTube video. But yeah, it's been pretty fun. And just push up on the door. But yeah, my dad said he might take off between Christmas and New Year's. Whenever I have off, and we might go up to our hunting camp. It's, it's in Pennsylvania. And it's super cold up there. So that's where we might go. If he does take off, hopefully he does, so we can go up to the camp. Okay, but it's pretty crazy. I mean, I don't think I'll be able to film hunting videos because it's that cold up there, freezing my phone probably. And like a little buzz thing to my face. I don't know, my camera, my camera has to be clear or else I get super irritated. It's even more dirty. There, I'm good. But yeah, that's it for the hind bags.
I've done a hunting tote video. Yeah, I've done a couple of things for hunting. This is my second thing for hunting, yeah. See, yeah, we, I'm probably going to do some other this, but we have something else. Let's get out and show you guys. It's a, like a compound bow. It's not a crossbow case. It's a compound. It is puffy. My bag's in the way. Open up. Yeah, this is not a soft case. No. Arrows. Some camo arrows are not that long either. Foot or two? Then we have the feather ones. I got the full length of a bow. This is a pretty small bow. I mean, there's still, normally there's still an arrow sticking out of the front of the bow. It's probably like some type of weird bow. Nope. I like the feathered ones. And uh, that's about it for the feather and stuff here. Before I get a bow, this is, if I get a bow, that's, this will be my saw. <laughs> Case, but whenever you go on traveling, I'll get big kids. Not snowmobile boots, y'all. Boots, snowmobile boots. These things are pretty cool boots. Somebody said you want to pair of snowmobile boots. I would definitely say yes. Cause these things are cool. Can I beat these? They're good for the winter time. To keep your feet warm too. Yes, they do keep your feet warm. She said that. That's whenever you're next to a snowmobile. I got in this roll here. See you guys there. Bye.